Welcome to No Man's Sky Survivor Mode. Here we are, guys. We're up on my capital vessel for a very specific reason: is that my frigate missions have now finished, and I want to check those out and kick off some a couple of new ones before we do the main part of this video, which is to go and collect some uranium. And so it's going to be very much a video about going down, doing a bit of resource gathering. Though you might find the resource gathering a little bit interesting, but more about that once we've done these missions. But that looks like this guy's a Corvax. So let's see what we've got here. I mean, we've got the two missions. It doesn't look like we've actually taken any damage for once. So we'll just see what this guy's actually got. So we started off, we pursued some bounties. We've got 330,000 credits another 330,000 credits forward scouts located and destroyed hostile forces another 330,000 so that's nearly a million already got some Indrium pirate fleet it destroyed 63 Vanimi vessels we've got 375 chromic metal that's useful because my chromic metal is dropping again I found large mineral deposits to explore the planet Oregon so we didn't get anything there, but we may get a special element there. Was that it? We got 951. Some chromic metal. And we've got an engraved stone instrument. This is something I've noticed that when you get some um, a return for the mission, it doesn't give you anything. It normally means you've got a special resource. So we've got that there. And I think what we can do is we can go to the high capacity. That can go to my starship. I don't know. We could maybe put the in there as well. I thought I had more. Oh no, I was about to say I thought I had more uh, frigate fuel, but frigate fuel's down here. Just do that. Let's just see what this guy's got. Debrief Commander. I think this is the bigger of the two missions. Although that says difficulty rating one. On foot survey discovered a huge mirror on planet you know, something. We got another. Obviously, it seems to like giving me rewards around three hundred thousand. Learn of an investment opportunity while refueling in the something system, another 300,000. So this is going to be a similar type of mission, isn't it? So this is all cash. Probe data with local knowledge, filing reports of Universal Archive, data, discovery data worth 213 units. Is that all? <laughs> Profit. Looks like this is going to be all cash. Cut price carbon source, purchase heavily, more cash. Returned home the fleet, assume formation. So this is pure cash. That looks like we've made about 2.5 million. That takes me up to about 57 million. I have been working the farms a little bit off camera whilst I've been trying to build them up. Let's see what we got here. A few potential expeditions. We've got a combat mission. We've got this mission here. We've got this one here. Trade mission. I think we'll go for the trade mission. Although we're going to have to. Where's my. So we certainly want you. We're certainly going to give you a. Maybe if we give you an exploration. Why come? Where's my support mission? Uh, frigate's gone. Got oh, we got trade up there. So if we get a support, if I send my two heavyweight like that as well, it's 550 tons. I'm kind of putting all my eggs in one basket here, but you never know, guys. If I send the other one on a little short mission. And maybe 
I mean, this is a long range balanced mission. Let's see if we can put in. So, this is a fleet rating of one. And certainly, send the industrial one there because this is a balanced mission. There's my support one. Combat mission. Well, we better put in a couple of these. Exploration, combat, combat, support, industrial. I think if we put in the exploration mission, yeah, I mean, that fleet rating is way above one. So that should work. And of course, that's used up virtually all my frigate fuel, I think. So, quick check. So we're down all the way back down to 50 tons. Which is okay. Oh, actually, what I could do is I come in here. I think I've got some, yeah, got some dihydrogen gel. It's not going to be much, but seeing I'm here and I'm lugging it around, I might as well just shut this. There we are. It's only going to take about, there we are, instant. can do. So I've got space in my ship and put some of this stuff in the starship. Now I'm going to send some stuff up because what I'm about to do is fairly high risk but at the same time I don't really want to drain it out because I could send that to the starship back to the starship put some Iridium to the starship. Could send some of those to the starship. I think that's about it. Right, here we are. We're back on the hangar deck. And what we're going to do now is go on the main part of this video, which is going to be a little bit of a high risk strategy. But what I want to do is effectively try and kill two birds with one stone. I need to collect some uranium. And the other problem I've got is this milestone here, which is still stuck at 11.9 souls. So we're actually going to go and collect uranium on a extreme planet. So this could be interesting. I have had one run at it. So this is not something that's I haven't really had a go at. So we're going to do extreme survival uranium collection. Oops. I shouldn't have done that. The ship's taken a little bit of damage. Just blast me way through here. And I think that's it. If we aim for the top of the planet and see what we can find. Yeah, weather warning radioactive supercell. So at the moment the whole screen's gone yellow. Whoops! Which is a little bit unfortunate because one thing I won't be able to do at the moment is see the uranium. Right. Oh, good. oh look at that, there's some storm crystals. Oh, I was supposed to start off with something interesting. What I'm going to do is I need to make sure. Where is it? I'm going to top that up. And we're going to grab some storm crystals. Oh, the other thing also is that the. Uh, Sentinels are threatening as well. I've also collected quite a few creatures here. There we are. Activated copper uranium deposit. There we are. 900 uh, meters distance. So I'm not going to shoot up much, anything on this planet because, the, as I say, the Sentinels are threatening. So this is going to be very much a. Yeah, thank you. Extreme radiation detected. 
we're going to do is grab some pure ferrite. Got that. What we got? 27 nanites. I'm just going to wander across the surface. And see what we can find. Yes, I know. Go away. Yeah, the sentinels that seem to like following you. What we can do is just keep. Oops, I've just been zapped by plant here. There it is. Great. Oh, the music's coming up. I don't know if I've actually. Got, oh, no, still haven't got that. All the oxygen's going down as well. So we better. We've got loads of oxygen. Now, the interesting thing about doing this is that the resource that keeps me alive is going to be uranium, but I also want to collect uranium. So, what I'm going to need to do is find enough uranium that will keep me alive, but at the same time, give me enough to collect. And it looks like there's a nice big. Well, it looks like there's some uranium closer. I mean, the creatures, I've already got a lot of the creatures on this planet. What's this? Oh, it's activated copper. Well, seeing we found it, we might as well pick it up. Just grab a little bit of this. I don't know what activated copper is useful for, but we'll take it anyway. Here comes the supercell. <laughs> As the supercells coming in, we need to come here. Look, we're nearly out of the uranium. I mean, there's sodium here, but there's not much point collecting it. Although, I suppose I could collect it a little bit because I, there's no point just trying to keep topping up the environmental protection without the uranium. Life will be a little bit difficult because the hit, everything will go down too fast for the got some magnetized ferrite as well oh look at that, there's some storm crystals over there as well so I think we can grab those I'm not going to worry about the uh, gravitino balls, you can keep those I mean storm crystals are a nice source of income as well Lost the. Ah, oh, there's the uranium over there. Sorry, everything is a bit yellow, guys. But that's the way it seems to be. Oops, I've just been hit by another plant. What's that? That's water, I think, yeah. Now, it's the only downside of doing this is that when everything goes very, very yellow very, very quickly. Well, this doesn't look like it's a very big deposit, which is a little bit of a pain in the neck. This is not going to be useful. I mean, I want, I want a bigger deposit than this. But we will get everything we can out of it. That's about it. Yeah, we've got 65 uranium out of that. That's nowhere near enough but it does keep me going look round so we've got there activated copper damaged machinery oh look there's some buried technology modules over here might as well go and get those because I still need to finish up locking all my base tech so we can we can grab that as well and just keep moving Let's grab those. Oops. And what we're looking for are storm crystals over there. I must just keep walking this way. Yes, Mr. Sentinel, I know you're there. You don't have to keep 
annoying me. He's getting close to me. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I knew that was coming. I'm just gonna keep running away from him. The key is to just try and run away from the idiots, not fight them. If you fight them, they just gang up on you. I think we can split. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think the storm is starting to ease, so yep. Yeah, I think we've lost the storm crystals. So these are the storm crystals when it's, there's no storm. Check. I'll just top that up. The moment I'm consuming more uranium than I'm finding, which is a little bit annoying. Go away. Let's see if we can find activated copper uranium deposit. There we are. Hopefully this one is getting... Now as far as I know, there are no hostile creatures on this planet. Thank goodness, everything else is hostile, but not the, just the, not the creatures. I'm trying to avoid running too much, because I want the running option should the Sentinel start to give me any trouble. I think we've outrun that sentinel. And so the key seems to be is just keep moving. Just get a little bit of a trot on over that way. Yeah, uh, he's back uh, something is back again. Ram this one. Some more chromic metal. Some more nanites. Top this up. Oxygen. Multi tool. Just top that up. This is magnetized ferrite. This is, this is uranium's. There we are. Ah, oh, this looks a bit more promising. Yeah, much more promising. So we're just going to try and grab this out as quickly as possible. around a little bit. Okay, this way. Let's check the... Yep, nearly out. But it's okay because finding this has been... means I've got a bigger return than I had before. I'm just going to grab this. I think that's about it. What we're going to do now is scan. There's a natural burial site over there. Let's just keep going in that direction. Now, if any of you guys are not familiar with it, a natural burial site is one with bones in it. I mean, I could go underground and just sit the storms out. But what I'm interested in is actually picking up the storm crystals. Let's grab that. Now, see the storm crystals here. Now, when the storm comes in, if I stand here, well, I'm going to have to watch out for that sentinel. Font storm, start. There we are. I'm just going to grab these. Just to show you guys. Top that up, actually. So, come out of ferret dust. You can see here, that's 313. That's 784,000 credits. So we've got a couple of million there straight away just by collecting these storm crystals. I know it's a rather extreme way to do things. So I'm, in some ways I'm doing three things at once. I'm collecting uranium, I'm making some cash and I'm also adding to my extreme survival total and hopefully eventually this might all come together. Come on, game. Let's just get through here. There's some more storm crystals over there. 
just so tempted. If I move away, we've got another sentinel hanging around here. Oh, go away, go away. Irritating Goblin Sentinels. I mean, I don't know if you get a double bonus for being on an extreme climate planet and having to put up with threatening Sentinels at the same time. What on earth have we got here? So we've got a big natural. Picked up some ancient bones. Whoops. So busy picking up the What else have we got here? What's that? It's got some more ancient bones. I think that's about it, isn't it? Oh, right, that's it. Found some more rare item found. Curious partial skeleton. I'm stuck in a hole in the ground and I can't see a way out. There is. Sometimes you just need to orientate yourself. I think that's about it, guys. No, no. It's, I think it's saying that there's another one here. I think what we'll do this time is uh, grab this. It's a cracked skeleton. I'm just going to top that up I think I saw some more frost crystals over here oh not frost crystals storm crystals sorry guys yeah there's a nice crop there when I, mean, I can't see anything else hopefully maybe the sentinel won't see me either life support 50 percent oh yeah I've been running around too much Storm Crystal. Wow. This is definitely going to be worth it. Just going to top that up. Got cargo drop, Storm Crystal, Storm Crystals. Copper deposit. Wow. No, I want to walk or move away from the ship nothing on the radar at the moment so I think we're just going to keep going in this direction now one of the keys when you're just groping around like this is that when you're picking up new deposits don't go back in the direction where you've gone because quite often what it will do is it will send you to deposits you've already collected there's a sentinel there so we need to stop running so that if he gets a bit aggressive we're going to be able to leg it away. Just keep checking, putting the technology up. At the moment, I would say that I'm probably using a lot more uranium than I should be. Anyway, just going to keep pushing on. Oh, great. I'll grab that. Let's just see if we can find something else there. Accept activated copper, copper deposit, uranium deposit. There we are. 400 units away. And some more storm crystals there. I can hear you, Mr. Sentinel. Clear off. I've got other things to do. I'm not interested in you. Go away. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you. Just go away and aggravate somebody else. Got 
very for some reason that's telling me giving me two markers right guys I think what we're gonna do is head for that deposit and then maybe that I will call this extreme session to an end grab the oxygen I'm not I need it I think there's two sentinels away I mean, I found the uranium just gonna grab this quite happily collecting uranium in the middle of a storm grab as much of the, ah this is better so we've got a couple of good deposits here oops definitely hope hello games allows a, a tech, a, some technology to make this terrain manipulator a lot more effective this is a real pain in the neck having to do this Whoops, a daisy. And it's going to. Ah, it's only 16. I'm just going to grab what's left of here. And I'm just going to. Yes, thank you. Stop telling me. What we'll do is we'll just stand here. I got you. Yes, I have. What I'll do is just have a quick look round to see if there's anything close by. Yeah, there's some buried technology there. I think we'll grab that on the way before we leave. When it's nice and close, so we might as well take advantage of it. Grab, yeah, anything else that's nice and close that we can have uh, some more buried technology there I think if we grab these I mean I know there's far easier planets to collect this on but if there's plenty of it around I might as well grab this and then that will allow me to complete my base tech yeah. let's just grab this ounce one final check. Oh, got hazardous flora. Obviously, I hadn't scored. Made 67, number 67,000. Activated copper. Activated copper. We've got gravitino balls, not interested in that. There's a magnetized ferrite deposit that way. Right, guys, what we're going to do is go for that, this magnetized ferrite, collect this. And then it will definitely be time to move all what we got here. Activated copper. Uh, we'll just snag a little bit. And in comes the storm again. So we're just going to grab this. Yes, go away. Let's keep moving. Away. I'm just going to top that up. And while we're at it, I am also top up the environmental protection. Yeah, we'll do the magnetized ferrite. And then there'll be time to move on. Through the storm, you might get a few more storm crystals. Yeah, this looks like there's a couple just ahead of us. The key is not to actually use the mining laser. If you, the moment you use the mining laser, all, all these sentinels will be all over you. Causing nothing but trouble. Yeah, I'm not interested in the gravity or we'll take the storm crystal. I don't know whether being on an extreme planet with storms can means you consume more oxygen as well. When it doesn't show that it's depleting any faster than normal, maybe all this walking is consuming it. So I've probably walked quite a long distance. There we are. You notice that most of this all looks the same. 
this in some ways mining this means that the magnetized ferrite I've been using to do the other mining will be replenished so there's a plus on that not that I needed magnetized ferrite let's grab here you can see we've got the bones but we'll, we'll go through that guys once I've got my back into my ship and I can relax a bit grab a little bit of this just recharge it I don't want to walk around with an empty tool uh, well, that's a little bit more there so can grab that just grab a little bit in the bottom what we need now is to find a little bit of a flat open area for my ship I think this will do Ship in. And we're back in the ship and I can relax a little bit. You can see here we've got plenty of storm crystals, got some skeletal remains. I mean you can say this has been a pro pretty profitable run. I mean, we've got several million there, we've got quite a lot of uranium as well so we've got 500 633 uranium well say less than that I've, I've got about 400 uranium out of it on top oops not enough fuel wow that was a bit close Comfort. I mean I could have a quick fly across the surface and see if I can see any more I mean the other way to do it is literally to use the ship to do it by flying across the surface like this when you can see so maybe we can fly across a little bit and see if we can spot anything of interest before we leave nah I'm not feeling it guys I'm not I can't see any really good resources down here not enough to justify landing okay Let's just get up into space and see if we can sell off the uh, what we've obtained. Where's the space station? There it is. Oh, it looks like we've got hostiles coming in, but they're not a problem. We'll see see how many of them there are. Where are you? You've got to be kidding me. Well, we've got a bit more magnetized ferrite out of that. That replaces some of my reserves. I'm just going to fly in here. No, we're not going to fly in here. I've actually crashed into the space station. Let's just check to see what this guy's for sale. Because I do need some dihydrogen cells as well. Biogenes. What have you got here? Nothing. I don't see anything of any real value there. Let's just get up here and we'll just see what we can sell off our, what we actually found. See if we can make a profit. So we'll just get here. Cell items down here. Quad servo. Now that's something I've had. So we got some grubby bones, and then we're going to make plus two point five percent. So we'll sell those. We got curious partial skeleton. That's half a million. Right, so you're going to sell that off. We got a cracked skeletal fragment. That's uh, so that's. No nitrogen salts. 
glass salt. Oh, minus 5.2. Can I be forgiven how easy it is I've got that? That's going to give me 3.6 million of 22 stall crystals. I mean, to be honest, going down on that planet, yes, I know it's a pain in the neck because it's an extreme planet. But I think that's pretty profitable. Is getting 3.6 million just for running around on the planet's surface. Any downside is that I don't think this is actually shifted on the milestone, is it? No, well, we're still 11.9 souls, so, so I still need to do a bit more work on the extreme survival. But what I can do, just to wind this video up guys, is if I come into here, and where is it? Let's just flip to the bases, or we'll go to Gamma Weed, and I'll just show you what I've been doing down on the my gamma farm oh look at that radioactive supercell has arrived thank you game I think we got the protection you can see here the, the way I've laid the farm out now because we've got a little bit of uranium I can I think I've got a bit where well, I can harvest some gamma root gamma weed and what I've done is I've respaced the plants out a little bit. So I've got a bit more space between them. Still not picking up as well as it should be. And I think what we can do is just come across here. Come up here. For some reason the gamma. Yep. One, two three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've probably gone over a little bit too much with these. I think these are a bit too close together. I'll do one more. Or two more. And what I can do now is just collect all these up. And grab you, grab you. Definitely spacing them out has made it easier to collect it. You can see I've got nearly 2,000 gamma, gamma weed already. And we've got, it looks like a sentinel coming in, but unlike the other planet the sentinels don't really want to kill me and we can get in here and we'll get in here so we got six lubricants there and those were 550,000 but what we should now be able to do is turn these oh I've only got two I thought I had more living glass more glass okay that's not a problem because I can always go back to my base and get some more. Go back here. So we've got two. I can make another four. You can see straight away now that this is actually. Oh, I've got. Didn't sell that part of skeleton off. Must have missed it. You can see here now. Two is 1.32 million. And by the time I've converted these two, that's going to give me another 3 million. So you can say that's been a pretty profitable session. Just going to collect the copyright. Not that I really need it, I've got a really big surplus of copyright, but seeing I'm here, I might as well collect it. And I can just store that against once as my uh, gamma farm there. And of course, because I'm on a. I can just harvest out this dihydrogen because it keeps returning, so I might as well just consume it all up. Because we're on a, a nice friendly planet. Just grab that like this and the next time I come back to this base it will all be back again of course I've got the naturally occurring gamma weed in the background as a reserve right guys I think this is where I'm going to leave it uh, it's been an interesting video or from my perspective hope it's been interesting for you so until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming